One summer, Jane finds an injured turtle in her backyard. She nurses it back to good health, gives it a new home, and calls her new friend, Pegleg. But she discovers interesting things about her new friend. She learns that it's best not to keep turtles in captivity. And so, with the help of her family, friends, and her very own faith, Jane sets out on a God-sent mission of strength, love, and determination to help bring Pegleg back to its natural habitat. As Jane overcomes her worries with a prayer in her heart, Please watch over Pegleg, wherever he may be. I now know your intention was to bring him to me. Everyone you brought into my life during last summer's season, they cared, they shared, they loved. Pegleg was their reason. I did my best to protect him in his time of need. I did my best to love him as you planted the seed. I did my best to care for him through your guidance and love. Saints Patrick, Catherine, and Francis were heavenly signs from above. It is hard for me to imagine his struggles and his fears. Your strength gives me courage to wipe away my tears. Please help me realize, through a sign, that he is okay, that he is alive and breathing and safe from harm's way. The life of this wood turtle Jane had developed a special bond with was saved. Jane knew in her heart that her mission of saving one of God's creations, which was in danger of extinction, was complete. She knew the girl who had found Pegleg loved and cared for him just like she did. Jane's worries were over now that she knew Pegleg would spend the rest of his life with other turtles like him. God's mission for Jane was complete. It was a perfect solution to a difficult decision.